Okay. On this one here, I'll go for you somebody asking me. The problem when you come in is using Wing Chun in a close range. Now, using Wing Chun in a close range on this kind of movement here is a little bit difficult when you come and you don't know what to do, so you got to basically hurt them first. So basically, what happens is, as you come up, when you come in, soon the block, this hand have to be straight away to the elbow. Snip in the neck of that, grab the arm and just force it in using that to force it in. Need to back like this, because you don't know who coming in. Then you turn to the side and your leg, like this, force the knee coming in, like this. So don't move anywhere, you go like that, close them up in here so you cannot move. While you got maybe somebody else to dealing with. So this is why it's quite important to understanding the basic movement using Wing Chun. You cannot try to using the basic movement onto the Wing Chun side in the close range. You have to basically use the Chum Kill training to able to bust him up. So let me go slowly one again. So move along, hand straight away like this to the fist or straight like that to the fist here. Soon he hurt, straight away to the neck like this, okay? Grab the arm and just basically shove your head into it. Just force your head into it and keep it tight because you might got somebody coming you don't know. So knee to the back like this, knee to the back like this. Keep an eye and then you turn your body like this. Keep it in, lock it inside like this. So difficult move out, it's difficult to move. Okay, while you're in there, it's easier for you to control, and when you move it out, it's easier to attack in the leg. So you got to basically boom, attack in the leg here, boom, like that, to break in the knee here, so he cannot move, and then come in, rain, few more here, push him, push him up, push him up, and then get rid of him. Okay, thank you for that. That's a basic idea how to use the Wing Chun into the close range. Into the close range, you got to put the one basic rule in mind you have to hurt them. If you're not hurting them, you're going to have a problem with somebody else come along. You not going to know what to do. It's that answer your question. If you like this kind of thing here, underneath here, comment and ask me whatever you want to know about. I will be right there to help you. Otherwise, subscribe to me here. I'm taking the course in the close quarter training side so I can be right here to helping you every step of the way. Otherwise, subscribe now before your enemy do and he know too much they're going to beat you up. Spend some time to practice. I will see you on the next lesson.